Hey there, daring explorers. Don't you just love the outdoors? Well, you're in luck because we are going camping. And to guide us today, we have popcorn. Now, we just need to find a suitable clearing to pitch our tent. Hmm. Hold on a second. What's that across the valley? It looks like someone is signaling to us with a flashlight. Let me try to signal back. It looks like they're flashing the light every three seconds. Let me set my flashlight on blinking mode. <laughs> it flashes once every four seconds. For that, we need to know at what instance the lights are flashing. Let's check this by writing the multiples of 3 and 4. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12 and so on. So the flashlight flashes at these seconds. Now let's take a look at the multiples of 4. 4, 8, 12 and so on. These are the seconds at which my light flashes. We can see here that lights are blinking together at 12, 24 and 36 seconds. It means that 12, 24 and 36 are multiples of both 3 and 4. Such multiples are known as common multiples of given numbers. Multiples which are the shared multiples of all the given numbers are common multiples. What if I ask you, when is the first time that they blink together? Going back to the multiples of 3 and 4, that's 12. Here, 12 is the first and the smallest common multiple of 3 and 4. This smallest common multiple is also known as least common multiple or LCM. So how many seconds until the lights sync up for the 10th time? To get such a point, we need to extend our number line. But we don't know how far. When we look closely here, the lights are blinking together in the multiples of LCM. For second common multiple, we multiply this least common multiple by 2. Similarly, for 10th common multiple, we will multiply LCM by 10. So the 10th time our flashlights will sync up will be after 120 seconds. It looks like they're responding to our signal. They must need help. We must go and investigate. Oh, looks like Popcorn has made a new friend. Let's go. We have a long walk ahead of us. Let's find a way to make it interesting. So the three of us will walk in the same direction from the same starting point. The sizes of our steps are on this table. What is the minimum distance we should walk for our steps to line up? Since we are taking same steps every time, so the minimum distance where our steps will line up must be the LCM of 50, 60 and 70. But calculating the LCM of 50, 60 and 70 by writing all the multiples of them seems a very difficult task. For calculating LCM of such large numbers, we have a special method called prime factorization. As the name suggests, we take a number and break it into the product of its prime factors. Let's see how that works. Step 1. Divide the given number by the smallest prime number, which divides the number exactly. Here, we divide 50 by 2 and get the quotient as 25. Step 2. Now, divide the quotient that we get in step 1 by the smallest prime number, which divides it exactly, and repeat this until we get the final quotient as 1. So we divide 25 by 5 to get 5. Again, dividing 5 by 5, we get 1. Similarly, we perform the same steps for number 60 and for the number 70. Step 3. Now, 
write 50, 60 and 70 as product of their prime numbers. Step 4. Now we will select the prime factors which are common for any two or more given numbers. That is, we see 2 and 5 is common factor for 50, 60 and 70. So we write it only once and then we multiply it with the remaining numbers which are 2, 3, 5 and 7. And that's how we get the LCM. LCM of 50, 60 and 70 will be 2 times, 2 times, 5 times, 5 times, 3 times, 7 which is 2100. Another method is to prime factorize all the numbers at the same time, like this. Dividing the given numbers by the smallest prime number 2, we get 25, 30 and 35 as quotients. Again, divide the quotients by 2. Here, 25 and 35 will be carried forward as it is because they are no longer divisible by 2. We will continue with this till we get all the quotients as one. Finally, LCM will be the product of all the primes. So the LCM is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 times 5 times 7. So we will have to walk 2100 centimeters for our steps to line up. That took a long time to calculate. We've almost reached the source of light. <laughs> Looks like the light was from this radio tower. You know what? This is actually a perfect site to pitch for our tent. I'll go do that now and you can think about some more ways common multiples can be useful to us. And in the meanwhile, remember, we stay curious.